Hello and welcome to Dean Park. You join me for another In The Spotlight video and in this video we'll be reviewing the Cavalex PGA Hopper Wagon kindly supplied to me by Cavalex Models. Ok first off let's look at the packaging. It's in a very striking orange colour with the, the black band and I, I like this kind of wire frame um, detail here of the Hopper Wagon along with very simple Cavalex Models branding. There's no display window showing what's inside, and I, I like that because it reminds me of kind of the dinky toys of old. We used to get the cardboard boxes with the artwork on it, and you had to open up the box to see what the uh, model looked like inside. So it's kind of got that air of um, excitement, anticipation um, in this very simple but effective packaging. Removing the wagon from the box, I've been told to be very careful because it's quite a finely detailed uh, item. There's a foam insert which securely holds the wagon and a small polythene covering to protect it and you could push this out from the back very carefully and remove this packaging here and there we have it the Cavalex PGA Hopper Wagon Before I look at the Cavalex model, I think it might be helpful to give you a bit of background information on the PGA Wagon. Designed and built by Standard Wagon of Haywood in the late 1970s into the early 80s, this 51 tonne two axled hopper replaced the ageing fleet of HTV wagons. With a design code of PG012 and with a 38 tonne payload, the fleet of new wagons helped Redland not only increase tonnages to their distribution terminals in London and the south east of England, but also the company's operational efficiency. The new wagons operated of Redland's Mount Sorrel Quarry moving large quantities of aggregate products to their terminals. These places included Kennet near Newmarket, Elstow in Bedfordshire and Battenball near Seven Oaks in Kent. Painted in Redland's light green livery with red text, these wagons could be seen on BR metals behind a variety of traction from the early 80s up until post privatisation. Up until 2016, these wagons could still be seen on the network plying their trade delivering aggregates to terminals around the country. Whilst a few remain in service, they are in the process of being replaced by newer bogey aggregate wagons. Construction of this model is based on injection moulded plastic to create the main body and underframe, which is a wash with detail. There are NEM couplers at both ends with a small tension lock coupler fitted as standard. The buffers in this particular model are not sprung. The body is accurate to that of the prototype and even has the full depth interior leading into the discharge panels which are moulded onto the underframe. The handrail, ladder and safety bars are made from extremely fine plastic and are very delicate to handle. The PGA wagon will appeal to modellers from across the spectrum from those who model the current scene right the way back to those who model the early 80s and 90s. Regarding regions as previously touched upon, they run in London, the Midland regions, southern, western and even into East Anglia. They travel really far and wide across the network. Also the variety of traction they pull can be very extensive, including class 20s, 25s, 31s, 37s, 45s, 47s, 56s, 58s, 60s, 66 and even 73s. That's really quite a selection and, and opens this wagon up to a lot of layouts out there because I'm sure that um, most people watching who model the era from the 80s onwards will have at least one of those classes of local in which to tag some of these um, hoppers behind. Whilst these wagons normally and historically ran in long rakes, there have been occasions where services have been split into shorter rakes to allow smaller terminals to accommodate the workings. More recently these wagons have also been mixed in with bogey hopper wagons, offering modellers further potential for variety on their layouts. The first batch of the PJ wagon arrived in the UK in November 2018, and these have all but sold out at Cavalex. In fact, the one that I've got up for inspection is one of the last ones that they've got in stock. Production of the second run of the PGAs will start this month 
and the recommended retail price is £30. Cavalites are supplying the following retailers. C&M Models, Carlisle. Colette's Models in Exmouth. John Dutfield in Chelmsford. And Trains for You in Peterborough. So if you want to track the second batch of these hey, hopper wagons down, those are the retailers that you should contact. Here's three things I like most about this Cavalex PGA Hopper Wagon. Number one, the amazingly fine, delicate and well produced ladders, walkways and handrails. They really are stunning. Number two, the underframe detail. All the extra pipes, brake shoes, doors, fittings and very finely printed detail have really really impressed me with this model. It really has raised the bar with regard to detail. Number three, the livery application on this is really first class. They've really captured the, the Redland green livery very well and all the extra printed details have been done exceptionally well. Now for the Dean Park verdict. Should you avoid it, consider it, or just go ahead and buy it? Well, if it's from your era, and they ran in your area, I would just say go ahead and buy it. It really is a stunning double-o-gauge hopper wagon.